Hey, a pleasant and good day, everyone. This is Sports Fanatic News. I'm Joe Boric, and this is going to be the Florida Panthers season preview. As I told my one subscriber, Ryan, I would be doing a Panthers season preview, and here it is, is your Panthers are one of the higher projected teams coming into the season, projected as second in the Atlantic Division, and some people's um, sleeper team, I think it was Liam McHugh that picked them to be that for their um, Stanley Cup winner. And I think uh, John Buter goes also on um, ESPN might have picked them as well. I might have uh, mixed up those two there. might have just been John. But one of those two definitely picked them to be their sleeper team. And you obviously have one of the most fun, one of the most talented young goaltenders to watch in the league in Spencer Knight. And then, of course, there's still the veteran, the guy that started here in Philadelphia. I have a um, a heart for him and really hope he kind of rebounds and gets going again fully. Had a rebound-ish season last year, so to speak, but really kind of turns back the clock to being somewhat of the old Bobrovsky is Sergei Bobrovsky. And obviously, the first thing to do that is um, fortifying and having a good defense, and that is exactly what the Florida Panthers have. They've got the best out of Rocco Gudas that I've ever seen him, honestly. He played solid here in Philadelphia, but this is honestly the best I've ever seen him play in Florida. Brandon Montour is a guy that was in that crapshoot of a situation um, it with the Buffalo, or or not, not with the Buffalo Sabres, um, in a crapshoot of a situation, excuse me, of having a lot of just young defensemen in Anaheim and then ended up going to the Buffalo Sabres, of course, that was not a good situation whatsoever. He did good in Anaheim even when they had a lot of those guys coming up. Then he didn't have opportunity in Buffalo because it's Buffalo. I mean, the the Sabres haven't been putting their guys in the best opportunities. That's why in that season preview, if you want to check that out, if you're an overall fan... I talked about how Don Granado, maybe he will be a guy that can put guys in the best opportunities for them to succeed because Buffalo sure as hell wasn't doing that. So I think Brandon Montour being now in Florida is going to do him graces as well. And they're going to get the most out of him just like they do with all of their defensemen down there. And they pulled the best out of Racco Gudis. So I think that is exactly what they're going to be able to do. That's also why they grab a young guy that hasn't been able to find his full peak in Vancouver in Ole Ulevi, who now has also still has a lot of potential. So are you going to be able to develop him? Are you going to be able to get him going? You're going to have to give up a lot for him. That's a very good move in my eyes. You have Matt Kerstead, who's a young defenseman as well, who I'm excited to see how you decide to develop from the States as well. Gustav Forsling in there as well. So you got a nice defense with good young players as well in that defense, plus Chase Prisky, who's down, well, as a scratch considered right now, not down below. So you have good guys, plus... You, of course, have Lundell, who's going to be up, Denisenko, you have um, Sorella, and you have Hepaniemi, among others in the minors as well, that are going to develop and be a part of this Florida Panthers team in the future. So I really like the way this team looks. To me, they honestly are a sleeper team to contend to, because Bob, like I said, I honestly, I love Bob. I hope he starts really starting the rebound, and I think the way you just keep adding to your defense talented young players, yes, some other organizations couldn't figure them out, but Gustav Forsling has success. Now Rocco Gudis is his most success there. Mackenzie Wieger is one of the best defensive defensemen in hockey now and is also a good offensive defenseman, obviously, as well, having 36 points. And you drafted him 206 overall. You've had success developing defensemen down there, especially of late. So I think bringing in Montour, having Prisky, bringing in Yule Levy, that's going to be huge for this team as they have this good young grouping of players, as well as combined with the veterans that have been there for a bit in the Jonathan Huberdos of the world and the Aaron Ekblads, who it's still hard to call veterans since he's just entering his prime years of 25, but that is what he is at this point since he's been around the pipe and is one of the league's best defensemen. And Alexander Barkov as well as one of the veterans that have been around there. Plus, you pulled the most out of Sam Reinhardt. So 
Um, this team, I think, has a lot of guys going forward. They have people that are going to keep this team good for the, or not Sam Reinhardt, Sam Bennett, I should say. Wrong Sam. You pulled the most out of Sam Bennett and then were able to acquire Sam Reinhardt to be a very good player to add into the fold. So I think this team is set up to be a great productive team this season, to be a great contending team, to be one of the better teams in the league, and to be a team that could be, like Budagros said, one of those surprise teams for the Stanley Cup. And I would not be surprised if they are in the Stanley Cup at season's end. This is a team that is set up nicely. They keep bringing in guys that haven't hit it, it's including Anthony DeClaire, that haven't figured it out in other teams' organizations. And, uh, and they, have, of course, have other players like Ryan Lomberg, just very solid, very good bottom sixers that have been very good in the AHL. Now what can they do at the NHL level if you put them in the right spots, which this team's known to do with the great coach of Joe Quinville? I'm excited to see what they can do, as well as Carter Verhege, that, of course, they snatched from the rival across state of the Tampa Bay Lightning. So that's always sweet for you Panthers fans to have somebody succeed in that aspect mm -hmm. as well. So to wrap up this video, all I have to say is, Great young talent grouped in with the veterans here. You brought in some nice acquisitions. You obviously got Sam Reinhart as well. And you were able to just add for practically nothing Ole U. Levy, who has good potential as well, and bring in Brandon Montour, who also still, in my eyes, is going to be now, just because of Buffalo screwing him over, a good late-blooming defenseman after having good success at the beginning of his career in Anaheim. So again, I hope you all enjoy this video. Subscribe down below. This has been a Florida Panthers season preview. Good luck to you this season, Panthers fans. Enjoy the season. It's going to be a successful season for you all, I do truly believe. Peace out, Panthers fans, and best of luck, and stay safe out there. Subscribe down below or on the widget up above if you enjoy the content. Thank you and appreciate you all.